Along the river, swarms of caddis flies are affecting locals and tourists. The annoyance has become so bad, the Bureau of Reclamation is reducing overnight water releases from the Davis Dam on some summer nights. In a Fox 5 special report, one of the lead scientists on the project took Fox 5 out on the water to show us if the swarms, what they're doing, and if the action being taken is producing any results. Ah, yeah, you got a few on you. I won't tell you how many. As our photojournalist lost his composure when the swarm came in, Dr. Michael Cavallaro was as cool as could be. They kind of tickle for the most part. They're just looking to rest, take a breather. I am one with the caddis fly. Cavallaro thinks people who live in Laughlin should be honored for these pesky visitors because they only swarm in healthy ecosystems with high quality, clean water. They feed the fish, they're good for the fishing. Dr. Cavallaro is an entomologist, one of the few experts in caddis flies in the country. He was brought in to help with the experiment. The Bureau of Reclamation is conducting reducing overnight water releases from the Davis Dam to reduce the swarms. We are an ecological anomaly here. Flurries of insects that are so dense in certain areas that you walk outside and you, you get the illusion that it's snowing. I love my job. And while he is like a kid in a candy store, the caddis fly swarms are driving the locals crazy. For those of us who live along the river, I've been here 33 years, and the caddis fly can be a nuisance. Jackie Wallen sits on the Laughlin Tourism Commission and is the president of the Chamber of Commerce. During the those hours of the day when I know that they're going to be emerging, I don't ride along the river on my motorcycle. I don't put my boat in the water or take it out during that period. Wallen says the invaders have not affected tourism yet. The tourists are still coming. We have record occupancy numbers. We have great gaming numbers for this time of year. A local businesses are trying to get ahead of the issue. Waterfront properties have air curtains so that the caddis flies don't come in and get in people's food or bother anybody. The city has launched a campaign to educate tourists about the caddis flies, including recommending people avoid the river around sunrise and sunset when the swarms come out. And it wants visitors to know this is not a public health issue, it's a nuisance issue. They don't bite, they don't sting, they don't carry a disease. And unlike cicadas, caddis flies don't make noise. But patience is wearing thin for the locals who are hoping that decreasing the water levels will help. So as far as uh, success of the pilot program so far, we've collected uh, a lot of mortality data uh, with, with the larva and uh, found that we did see a decrease in population in reaches of the river that, for, uh, that featured certain habitat types. Dr. Cavallaro says there is progress and they are learning a lot, but it could be years before a total solution is found. So for now, the people and the insects will have to share this playground. Exactly. You just got to be one with the caddisfly. One with the caddisfly. And remember, they're, they tickle. So if you're tickled, you should be careful of that. So Laughlin is the only municipality in the country to invest in a permanent solution to caddisfly swarms. Dr. Cavallaro is hoping the research and experiments they are doing will provide a playbook to help other cities around the world deal with caddisflies.